Hello, I'm Jacqueline and I am coming to you today because I healed Crohn's disease about four years ago and I'm on a mission to help spread the word that healing is possible. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about one of the key engines from the four engine system that Dr. Anu talks about. Just a reminder, on the systems, again, it's nutrition, movement, connection, and rest. And I think in society right now, there's a lot of talk about nutrition. There's a lot of talk about movement. And I think we're just now starting to talk about connection and rest. So I wanted to start with just talking a little bit more about connection, because I think this was the one that I stumbled upon last in my journey basically was connection and what that actually means. And so when I think about connection, I'm more so speaking to the connection to ourselves and our emotional bodies. And there's this really great quote that goes something like this, that when you have something suppressed emotionally, the sorrow that has no vent in tears may make other organs weep. And so when you think about that, what are all these things that we've suppressed in our lives? A lot of us were taught not to share our emotions, not to cry. Maybe that it was weak to cry. Uh, maybe that it was bad to talk about how you were really feeling. Maybe you were just supposed to sweep it all under the rug move on with your life. Maybe you were supposed to be professional. Um, maybe, you know, if you did share your emotions, maybe people laughed at you. Maybe um, you got punished for that, especially as a child. And so when you think about that, if any of that resonates for you, all of those emotions didn't go away. They actually are still in your body. Um, yoga talks about this a lot. I really love yoga and talks about how emotions are trapped in actual organs and tissues in your body, in your hips, in your back, in your shoulders, in your neck. It could be anywhere. But if we're not releasing those emotions, they are truly still in our body. They don't just go away. They didn't just get swept under the rug. They got swept into your body. And so if that resonates, that's a really good place to start. There's a lot of different ways um, that I have found to release emotion. Um, RTT being my favorite modality for that, but there's several others. And that's just the first question you might want to ask yourself that could be really helpful is, you know, what am I suppressing? Um, what have I not really felt? Is there grief that I haven't felt? Um, is there, yeah, I mean, usually it's like grief and sorrow, unfortunately, but what are those things that I have, I have actually suppressed and need my attention now? So that's one. The interesting thing about that is a lot of times we're afraid to feel something and we spend a lot of our lives trying not to feel that thing. And what I've found though is once you allow yourself to feel that, that emotion can actually move through your body in about 90 seconds. So think about that. We've been suppressing something our whole lives that's trapped in our body and it can actually leave within 90 seconds. Isn't that incredible? It'd be so quick. So I love that when we think about emotional health, thinking about what we've suppressed and how to release that. A good place to get started could honestly just be journaling that question and seeing what comes up for us and seeing, you know, are we ready to, to heal that? Another thing when I think about connection, especially emotionally, that really helped me was thinking about the relationship I was creating with the disease. So in my case, it was Crohn's disease. And before I healed from it, I very much had a relationship that was like, how do I get rid of this? How do I fight this? I just want this to go away. And it didn't go away until I was able to change my relationship with that. And what I mean was one simple question helped me do this. And the question was, 
how is this disease here to help me? Have you ever asked that before? How might this disease be here to help me? And at first you might have a lot of resistance around this because you're like, this disease can never be here to help me. <laughs> but just sit with that question of how could it though? How could it though? Um, for me, I found that the answer was that the disease was helping me rest. I was never resting unless I was really sick and really ill. Then I would be like, oh, I guess I have to lay down. Oh, I guess I have to take a day off work. You know, that's when I would rest. And so realizing that the disease was actually trying to help protect me and try to help me rest was a big mindset shift. And I found that through, again, through RTT, but it's a question that you could already ask yourself even now in your conscious state, like, how could this possibly be here to help me? So there's so much more to dig into both of those topics, but I'm just going to leave you with those questions, those two questions of what might, what emotions might I be suppressing and how could this disease be here to help me? start there and see what comes up and see what might be ready to release. And if that resonates or you have any questions, um, you can get a hold of me on Instagram at joyfuljack, J-A-C underscore, and we can chat about it there. Good luck. You're going to do great. And I can't wait to hear what comes up for you.